groups with Julio, six Julio settings. Uh, he did have a lower pitch count, but was there a reason he kept him? Um, I, I just thought that, uh, you know, I, I thought the stuff was good, um, but I thought that they were taking some good swings off of them. Um, there was some hard contact in there. I just felt that um, that part of the lineup again, um, you know, to get a, give them a different look, uh, bringing in Bruce Dar was uh, the best, uh, you know, gave us, gave us a good chance to win and also just kind of give who the lineup for the next one. With Chris Taylor, you saw him in these events today. It felt like things just really kind of clicked, and he felt really good at the plate. What have you been seeing from him just though, in the last few games? He does have four-game history. You know, I, I think he, he's been our he's been our most consistent performer. Um, I know that things, in his words, were things are just starting to click in the last couple of days. But he just finds a way to you know earn a walk, get a base hit, um, get a big hit when we need it, and, and today got behind. Got a pitch, you know, in the middle of the zone, down, and big hit. Um, so he's just a guy that you kind of, uh, you know, just got to appreciate the consistency. Was the fact that it was against the Giants part of the reason why you were more aggressive with pulling Williams? Um, not necessarily. I, I think he was more of. If you look back at the six innings, uh, you know, there wasn't as much swing and miss. Um, you know, there was some balls hit pretty well, but just to give. You know, two, three, and four, another opportunity to another crack over three, four, five, I guess it is. Um, I just felt that to get Bruce right in there was different. So it wasn't necessarily the Giants, it was just kind of how that game went on. And you know, it was a while, I think it was a couple innings since he punched a guy. So I just felt that, you know, that was the time. It wasn't about pitching out. Was it a more difficult decision? Uh, no, 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 I don't think so. I mean, if, if I, mean, I would have been six shutout innings um, at the outset. So. He did, you know, more than uh, he did more than his job. And what happened when you went out there and they talked to? Him? I, I was just curious because, as the rule is written, uh, the pitcher can't take a sign off when he's not on the rubber. And so there's an amendment now that we have the the headset thing. So that was what I wanted clarification. Yeah, with Julio, you know, we were up there. We saw the velocity kind of ticking down. We saw the exit velocity. I mean, they get all the rationale and everything. That said. You know, I think this year, right, I mean, you guys are looking at it to be at least like kind of a number two starter, whereas maybe last year you had, you know, you guys were doing a little more top heavy in the rotation. I mean, given that, um, I don't know, what ended there with some value maybe in letting him go and trying to become that guy? Um, I, I still, I do believe he is that guy, um, and we're going to lean on him all summer. Um, I, I just didn't feel right now was the time, and I still think that. Um, really sort of appreciating the buildup and, and the spring training. So I just don't think it's kind of all things created equal as far as a typical year. So I think that I still, we still got to be mindful of, of uh, you know, the past workload from last year and, and to continue to you know, appreciate what we didn't have access to as far as the buildup. So I think that I'd rather still, and, and you guys know me, I'd rather err a little bit more on the cautious side than the aggressive side. You know, given you know, that, you know, again, the, the, the DS last year with the opener situation, there's been a lot of, you know, and I know there in the past it's been, you know, we want to protect him, whatever, but for whatever, right, there have yep. been a lot of times where you yep. guys haven't quite let him go and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Given all that, do you have to talk to him at all to kind of let him know this? Because I'm sure he's thinking, I mean, you know, and I know he's a white kid. Yep. But I, I think I, I, maybe 65 pitches. Right? I, I think, I, I think, you know, I, I would expect nothing less. Um, but I think that we built, I built enough equity uh, with Julio, um, understanding the history, um, understanding he, he's got a lot of great baseball ahead of him, as well as now. And so I, I really believe that we're in lockstep in, in how we're using him. I, I really believe that. Did this feel like a continuation of last year's Dodgers Giants? It did, it did. I mean, it, it's, a, I wouldn't say stressful, but it's like, you know, they do a really good job matching up and uh, they exploit any weakness and um, so and I thought the crowd was into it and it was a well played baseball game. Managing against Gabe, do you pretty much have to be ready for anything? We do, we do, yeah. Were you surprised at some balls that stayed in the park today? I was surprised certainly on the, uh, the Ballinger ball. Um, I thought Trey hit one that had a shot, um, but I thought that the Trey, I think they hit a ball uh, to what I'm not sure what player hit it, I thought had a good chance to get out. So, but the Bellinger ball, I thought, 
exit velocity, the trajectory I thought was a homer. What about the job Vessia did? Vessius, Vessius, he, he's a leverage guy. He, he's becoming a dude. And uh, I, you know, could have left Gratterall in there, but I wanted him to be available for tomorrow night as well. And I like the matchup, and he did, he did a nice job. Thanks, guys.